nonetheless, here we are. Let's finish this project right. Today, I want to get that little, see that upside down lintel on the ground? I want to make that a door jam opening so that I could put my French doors in there and a glass window. Let's see how far we get. 92 would be real snug, so let's do 92. That board's dry enough. 92, all right. So 92, I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut the sockets out for the four by fours. Except that one. And then we'll figure out how to get the log up there. 92, let's do 92. Yeah, um, well, it just starts to fall if you would hold it so it does it split, make splits, so that, that'll be the end piece. Hold it over here? Nope, this piece. Thank you, my love. All right, open it up a little bit so I can put this in. Ready? Boop. All right, I am going to leave it that tight because I'll drive it in with a piece of wood and a, uh, sorry for things swinging in the way. And I think it clears the doors. And of course, when the tile goes in here, for the floor, butt up against there and then I'll carve it down where the doors go through so you have a nice transition. Oh, or maybe not, I haven't decided. I am, I am satisfied, Leah. All right, internet, so I have a problem to solve and it's how heavy this is. So what I'm thinking is I will drive that down and uh, you know, grind it where I need to and cut these supports to the same height, right? So that I can flip this up as a mini and set it down. Then I'll stage those two doors by laying them down and seeing if they're clear and how the doors will lay down in there and just kind of mock it all up before I get the fork truck and put that up because I really need these posts to be able to go in, hold that up. I think they need to anchor down and I need to drive that board around them is what I'm thinking. NASA certified calibration measurements. Now you might ask, do I really build a whole house with my eyeball? Mostly, just like that. Has it worked so far? Pretty good, hasn't it? Right at the, I mean, it's a little crooked. <laughs> just like the masters would be who built the, built the uh, Spanish missions. I bet you if I started measuring the Alamo, everything's crooked in the Alamo and it's beautiful. Beautiful, it's gotta be, that's gotta be a Michael song, George Michael song. You're beautiful, flawed. Your flaws make you beautiful. Someone does have a song. Oh, she's got to. Somebody who <laughs> sings a little high. You're beautiful. <laughs> All right, I guess I would like my safety class. Oh. It's pretty heavy. You should have your back brace. I should have my back brace. And you don't. I don't.
Hey, remember that rock and roll show where they made, he wanted the, um, the stone hedge and he drew it and he used inches instead of feet so the guy built a stone hedge. Oh, itty yeah. bitty. <clears throat> All right, well, there's our itty bitty door post. Oh my gosh, come over and ooh and ah, that looks good. Yes. That looks good. So now I'll lay out the French doors and kind of figure out where this piece goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I'll prep the whole thing. Yeah. So I think, see how I'm dancing around this? I think I should move it so, you know, like that where, yeah. you know, you don't see. All right, behind me is the little mini hinge mock-up for the door lintel. So I need to get it all done low because it's so heavy. All right, so the sill plate will be that two by eight piece of rough cedar. Where the doors go, you know, there'll be tile behind it, like so, and you know, it may or may not be up. It'll be okay, but where the doors go, I'll just gr use a grinder to grind a, uh, a natural looking edge in it. We laid out the doors over there, the French doors. The doors are 30 inches, but between the hinge and then the molding down the middle for the gap, we end up with uh, 60 and 3 quarters inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a socket in here that's at 61 and uh, that way the doors will have uh, you know 16th gap here 16th gap there 16 gap there and then a little bit that they could take up I'll need to eventually cut the right size post there right size post there this I'm gonna drill out and uh, chisel so that that's right and I'll need to make sure it's in a line with the other things again Although, since these are 4 by 4s if I'm out a little this way, it'll be fine. But if it's at an angle, that's where it will be bad. Because then the angle will change towards the top. The French doors. So the 30 inch six will be right there. And then a window from there over. So that a dresser could go here where this... Uh, and that will be just right. So when I'm done with that, I'll end up with cedar boards or something. I might even do drywall there and do a, um, a different color of the, like if this room ends up with the blue, maybe I'll make that the seafoam green or whatever. So just a little accent piece that ties it all together. Not sure how I'm going to do the window the opening. The or white with the pearl. The so I have white with pearl. I have a real light seafoam green. Yeah, and then the blue. And then I have real, and, but when I say blue, I mean light. the lightest yeah. light of blue. Like you won't even know that it's blue. And I think blue I wanted in the bedroom as a soothing color. I want a green in the bathroom because yeah. we had a green bathroom. Mm -hmm. That looked great. And then the white in the office exactly. because, yeah. all right, super happy, everybody. So uh, there's the mock-up. And uh, that is my rinse and repeat times the whole house. I really literally do everything as a mock-up and a layout and a template. Very little measuring. I will measure when I have to. But, um, and this is why everything fits. I measure twice and cut it, still doesn't fit. But if I do this, it always fits. All right, let me get these cut out and uh, chisel in and do some work there.